guess who got Hoya mail? I did. And even though I said I wasn't gonna buy no more Hoyas, well, I'm back. Alright guys, so I went ahead and purchased two Hoyas from the plant farm. The last time I purchased Hoyas from the plant farm was back in 2019 where I purchased my Hoya. I forgot the name of it, but it was the Hoya album Marginata. I forgot the name of it. I'll leave a clip here of my Hoya. It already died. That Hoya died already. Um, but I had really good experiences working or buying plants from the plant farm, which is a reputable Hoya spender. You can get them from Etsy, through Etsy, or you can also get them on their own web page. Um, I'll leave their Instagram and their um, online store and their Etsy shop. So you guys, if you guys are looking for Hoyas, you guys can definitely find the plant farm and get some Hoyas because right now they have a lot of Hoyas in stock. Anyway, so the, I noticed though that Hoyas recently have been dropping up in price. They're not so pricey no more. They're slowly, you know, getting cheaper. So that's a good sign. And that's why I decided to buy these two Hoyas. Now they're not rare Hoyas. They're not like um, Hoya Sarawak or Sulawesi. They're um, Hoyas that a lot of people have. You, if you're watching the video, you probably already have them. But um, I have my handy dandy scissors. And so let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. And guys, I miss doing unboxings in this channel so much. But I also um, just, you know, I wasn't a no buy. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be um, doing unboxings because this is like an exception because um, they were cheap. I think they were both $30. So that's pretty cheap. Um, but anyways, let's let me finish unboxing this and I'll be back right now. Alright guys, so here it is. Here's the box. All opened. You get a lot of different little like puffs. Which I could save. Misha, if you're watching, this is going to be your, your packaging for when I send you Hoyas. So just, this is going to be your box. There you go. So they sent me this little card here and it says, read me first. It says, if your plant is damaged beyond what is expected under normal shipping conditions, please message us with a photo of your plant on the same day that it arrives. So that's great. If your plant arrives damaged, destroyed, wilted, Take a picture of it, send it to the plant farm, and you will get a refund. I'm not sure what the refund policy is, but you might get your money back. They might send you a replacement plant, or you might even be asked if you want if you want a different kind of plant, maybe a different kind of hoya. And I feel like that's great. And in the back here, it tells you more information. It says remove my packing materials. All oh, this is just safety things about the plant. But anyways, I feel like that's great, guys. I feel like this is amazing. Alright, guys. So let's just go ahead and dive in. At the first one okay oh, it's a very nice size Hoya wow very very nice size this is Hoya Rubida I'll make sure to leave the name on the screen so if you guys are interested they are available on the website and on Etsy so go ahead and take a look so let's go ahead and take a look and see how the Hoya looks Um, tell me in, in the comments below when you get a new plant do you go up or do you go down on the little film I like to go down because if I go up I feel like I'm gonna cut some leaves so I go down so the plant farm is in Washington they're up I'm in California so it's not too much of a travel difference um, the Hoya arrived in pretty good condition I'll do close up so you guys can see. It, it are in pretty nice condition actually. I like it. So here it is guys. Hoya Rubida. And it also comes with a little name tag. Let me do a little close up of it. If that focuses. I hope it does. Hoya Rubida. Anyway, so yeah. Here is the Hoya Rubida guys. And I think it looks very nice. It kind of looks like a Rotundiflora. I mean, not a tree flower. It kind of looks like a. It just looks different. It doesn't look like a hoya. It kind of looks like a lipstick plant. But that's because it's so unique. I like it. Um, I think like I think that every hoya is unique. But um, this is a very nice hoya. Um, very 
Okay, so touching the leaves, they do have like texture to them, like the veins are very prominent. It's very veiny now that I'm looking at it. And it's also very thick and chunky, which is very nice. It feels very thick. That's very weird. So I'm excited to have this way in my collection. And it seems like it's a fast grower. Each little tendril here that I'm seeing, or each little vine, it's producing new leaves. So that's very cool. Anyways, guys, so this is Hoya Rubita. And it seems to be a very easy grower. It's potted up in regular soil. So I'm thinking that it's going to be like a terrestrial Hoya. Kind of like a Hoya Multiflora. Maybe like a Hoya um, Coriacea. Where they're, you know, it's supposed to put in them in like cocoa husks. Or like in Leca. Or in Pond. Just put them in basic regular soil. Like a basic bottles. And that's how they would thrive. A lot of people that have Multifloras kill them because they, they're a little too fancy for them. Like they want to put their Multifloras in like... Lekka or pond when in reality they just want to be placed in like regular soil so this is one of those it seems because it's growing in soil and it's growing very nicely so yeah here's my Hoya Rubida and if you guys are interested like I said it is available on the shop right now so all right guys so this next one here oh I must say I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger um this is Hoya Comangiana or Comingiana I don't know who comes up with the Hoya names, but Hoya Kumangiana. Now, something about the plant farm, they always pack their plants with like a bamboo stick. And I always uh, um like that. I always like it when um vendors put bamboo sticks in their plants because that really does stabilize the plant and kind of prevents it from like wobbling here and there in the box. Alright guys, so here it is. Oh, this one is, yeah, I thought it was going to be bigger, like I already mentioned, but the plant that I received looks very nice and healthy. Um, I'm noticing though that it doesn't seem to be, it did get damaged on transit. Not, not that the plant got damaged, but it feels like the soil kind of got messed up. Um, it feels like the plant was not really, like didn't grow roots in this pot and it was just placed here for you know to transfer to like so I don't know it feels kind of wobbly that makes sense it feels like it was probably growing on some other kind of medium or like in a smaller pot and they just put it in a larger size pot to up uh, to you know make the price a little higher um, I might be wrong but anyways this is Hoya Kumon Gianna um, I've never had this Hoya and it seems like it's uh, a lot of people's favorite. This Hoya apparently grows massive and it grows really fast. Um, and it grows fast really quick and so that's why I purchased it and I don't have it in my collection. Um, I know that a lot of people do have this plant and this plant looks nothing like a Hoya. It kind of looks like a jasmine plant. If you like jasmine, this Hoya kind of looks like a jasmine and it also grows flowers that are not so special. I don't like the Hoya flowers on this plant, on this Hoya. They're a little bit like eh. but anyways they're they're there <laughs> um anyways yeah i like this way it's a very nice plant and i just did have it in my collection and so i'm happy to have it now all right guys so both of these soyas arrived in a four inch pot and in soil this one arrived a little healthier and it does look a lot healthier and this one it's smaller but um yeah, I just feel like this one. A lot of I've seen that this Hoya used to be seventy-five dollars for like a ten for like a vine, and I was like, that's way too much to pay for a plant. Like, like that's way too much. Um, I have never heard of Rubita, or I've heard of it, but I I feel like this is a little bit harder to find. So this is my favorite one out of the two. However, I'm very excited, and these plants are gonna go right in my green box outside in my garden, and uh, we're gonna see how they do. I think that Hoya uh, Comingiana will definitely do better than Rubida, but I might be judging too soon. So here it is, guys. Alright, guys, I hope you guys definitely enjoyed my video and you guys found it helpful. If you guys had never heard of the plant farm before, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you ordered from the plant farm before, I want to know your experience. Did you like your experience? Were you satisfied with your purchase? Was the plant healthy when it gets to you or what not? 
Um, so just let me know what your experience is with the plant farm. I for once have beautiful experiences with them. Every time I purchase plants from them, they've always been great. My Hoyas arrived healthy and also my Swiss cheese plant back in 2018 arrived in very nice condition. And they're known for having the bamboo sticks which are my favorite. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Kapun karigato kasamasta. Don't forget to drink water, water your plants, put sunscreen, drink tea, and give love to your plants. Bye!